Hello everybody, this is Jeff at eTrailer.com. Today we're going to take a look at this Dexter DX7.5L Weld-On Drum Brake Actuator for a 2-inch hitch ball. has a 7,500 pound weight capacity. Now you'll use this actuator to activate your trailer's brakes when your tow vehicle slows or stops. Basically when you apply the brakes in your tow vehicle, deceleration occurs and the momentum will push your trailer towards the rear of your tow vehicle. So with the surge brake system, the actuator here is triggered as your trailer moves forward while the tow vehicle slows. So basically the inside part of this actuator will telescope back. It applies force to the master cylinder in the back here, which in turn will supply the necessary hydraulic pressure to engage your trailer's brakes. If you notice on this one, it is a low profile coupler latch. There is no lever or anything sticking up. It's very low profile, so there's nothing to get damaged. This will ensure a nice, easy, secure connection. And it is an over the center latch mechanism. It'll only engage when the actuator is fully seated on a two inch hitch ball. And I happen to pull a two inch hitch ball. I just want to demonstrate how it installs. So what you want to do first is pull out this tethered safety pin here. Once you get that pulled out, and what you'll do is go up to the latch here. There's this round portion. Just slide that. When you slide that, that'll release it and it flips up. And now that's in the ready to install position. So when you get out over your two inch hitch ball, drops right into place. All you have to do is push that latch down and it's locked onto the ball. And then for extra safety, you slide this tethered safety pin right through the two holes and that'll keep it locked into place and you're ready to go. And what's nice with that safety pin, if by chance this did get moved and popped open, it won't open all the way so it still stays attached to the ball. The only way to actually remove it is to slide that safety pin out, flip that latch up, and then you're able to lift it up off the ball. Simple as that. So it's a very nice, easy connection in to disconnect it. <clears throat> Then we'll just go ahead and close that, slide our pin back through. Now if you notice, it does also include this breakaway cable. This breakaway cable is required by law. And what this does is it prevents a ru trailer runaway situation. You'll take this hook on the breakaway cable and hook this to your tow vehicle. And then what will happen is if by chance your trailer would come disconnected from your tow vehicle, it would pull on this cable, which would then activate the uh, master cylinder back here to apply the brakes and prevent the trailer from a runaway situation. Now the master cylinder on this, let me flip it upside down here so we can see the end of the master cylinder right here you can see. The master cylinder is constructed of aluminum rather than plastic or steel. Gives you much more increased strength and corrosion resistance. And if you look up at the top here, it has a nice flush brake fluid filler cap on top. It doesn't stick up tall to where it could get damaged or broken. You just unscrew that, put your brake fluid in, or unscrew it and check your brake fluid level. This does have a nice prime finish on it. It is a weld-on installation. It is designed to fit 3-inch by 3-inch or 3-inch by 4-inch straight trailer tongue. This part is made in the USA. Again, the specs on this, the application is for hydraulic drum brakes. The ball size we mentioned it fits over is a 2-inch diameter hitch ball. Weight capacity is 7,500 pounds. And one last note I do want to mention on this is because this model actuator does not include a reverse lockout on the rear here, it is recommended that you equip your trailer with either an electric reverse lockout solenoid that screws into the master cylinder or free backing brakes on your trailer so that you can drive in reverse without triggering your trailer's brakes. But that should do it for the review on this Dexter DX 7.5L Weld-On Drum Brake Actuator for a 2-inch hitch ball. has a 7,500-pound weight capacity.